Hello, it's Lorna from Just Jemima. Um, today we are going to make some pumpkin slime. Um, last time you might remember we made some little paper pumpkins, which we have up in the window in the Just Jemima studio in Castle Rock. But tonight we are making pumpkin slime. Um, everybody loves slime and I must have made slime hundreds of times. So hopefully it's going to work tonight. Um, and hopefully I haven't forgotten how to make it. So all we need is one big pumpkin pot and PVA glue. Only four ingredients, so we need PVA, shaving foam. Do not use shaving gel because it makes it really runny and you just don't get the fluffiness that you would with the foam. You need a little bit of activator. I use contact lens solution always works for me and the other main ingredient you need is bicarbonate of soda okay so i'm just going to pop these in a wee line so you know that those are the four things that are really important okay the other things aren't essential things like color sparkles glitter more glitter and even more glitter uh, just to keep everybody happy, a few wee spiders. And everybody needs a good unicorn to stir the slime. So, let's get started. So, first of all, PVA glue. Now, when I am doing craft parties with Just Jemima, this makes an awful lot of slime. Um, this is just very simple PVA glue that I get in the works. Um, Sometimes I use clear glue, but I find clear glue quite hard to work with. White glue is so much better. Um, so let's pour half of this in. Um, so let's hope this is nice and quiet, this slime. Whoops, sometimes we get noisy slime. Okay, we're just gonna do half a tub. So here we go, we have our PVA glue. And what we want to add next is our bicarbonate of soda. So um, everybody always asks me about how much do you need? Um, I would say that for a whole tub of glue, probably about three teaspoons. Um, for this one, I'm just gonna add two teaspoons. I never really measure it. I just know by the time I've stirred it. So one. And there we go, it's a bit lumpy. Okay, so there we go. So that's our PVA, that's our bicarb, and we're just gonna give it a wee bit of a stir just to get all that lumpy bicarbonate of soda in. So we're not making a cake today, we are just doing lovely pumpkin slime. So bicarb and glue. Next thing we need is shaving foam. So let's give it another shake. So that's just. So that's probably enough. We don't want to add too much. If we add too much, it just gets really gloopy and not good. So, add a wee bit more. So, now it's all looking very much like snow. So we want to turn it into pumpkin slime. So we need to get a wee bit of color. So we'll get rid of those. Do not use the activator. We'll just save it right to the end. So as it is autumn, we are going to go with some lovely orange. It's a nice pumpkin. Now, I use food colouring gel. Um, I never use liquid because the liquid is really runny and it doesn't work as well as the gel. So I use these Dr. Otker food colouring gels. So we just, ha, ha, ha. We need scissors to chop the end of this. Let's get some scissors because we haven't used this one before. Lucky enough, I've got some scissors just behind me. You can find everything in Just Jemima's studio. There we go. Just gonna 
add lots of this just so it's nice and bright. If you only add a little bit, it's quite pastel, quite pale. So, okay, let's give this a go. So, just waiting for the orange to come. It's still very pale. Sometimes we add the colour before the shaving foam because we don't want to beat all the fluffiness out of the shaving foam. You can't see very much at the minute, but I promise you it is going orange. Here we could just a couple of wee white bits left. Okay, it's coming up. Let's add some more colour. I don't think it's quite bright enough. We just want it to be really, really pumpkin-y, so go. So, let's keep stirring. That's starting to look much better now. It's still quite fluffy so we haven't beaten all the foam out of it which is good. So we should get some nice really really sticky slime. So I think that's bright enough. Maybe just, maybe just a wee bit more. You can have never have too much colour in it. So. Sometimes with the food colouring gels, the yellow one doesn't work as well. Whatever ingredient is in the yellow one, it just doesn't become as fluffy and as slimy and as sticky. So just be careful with the yellow one because it doesn't always work as well as the other colours. So, I think we're almost done. So, we have our lovely pumpkin slime. So, the next thing we want to do is, we're gonna add a wee bit of glitter. So, a wee bit of sparkle. So, a wee bit of autumn, a wee bit of autumn color. There we are. So, do you think we have enough? I'm not sure that we have enough. I think we might need a little bit more. So how about we go for some purple? You can never have too much glitter in your slime. So let's add a bit of purple, a wee bit more. And let's give that a bit of a stir. Oh my goodness, it's really sparkly. And then once you stir it, it almost disappears. So I think we might need a wee bit more. Let's go for more purple. In fact, let's just put it all in. And in fact, should go for some pink. Let's just add some more. And how about we just add some more? Let's get some more. There we go. So the activator is gonna to have to work very hard to get through all this glitter. So look at that. So nice stir it's still nice and thick so we are good now we'll add a wee bit more glitter at the end because you kind of lose the glitter by the time you stir it so oh how about we add some sequins it's a nice purple one one's for autumn let's get that a wee stir They're all disappearing. Let's add a wee bit more, a lot more. I feel a wee bit, a wee bit like Nigella here, adding more and more and more. Right, oh my goodness, I think we're almost done. Now, the very last thing we need to do is add the activator. So this is contact lens solution. So make sure that you're with an adult when you're working with this and do not get it on your eyes um, just keep it away from you and maybe get an adult to add it so you just add a little bit at a time okay it has a tendency just to splash everywhere so get an adult to help you do that okay so just add tiny bits at a time because if you add too much the slime becomes really runny and it, it won't work. Okay, so we just added maybe about a teaspoonful, a few drops. Okay, and we'll just
just keep adding. So I'll sometimes just go like that so it doesn't splash. Okay. And I'll just keep stirring. So when the activator starts to work, you will start to feel it pulling away from the sides and it will start to get really elasticy and stringy. So I can feel it starting to work already and that's only just a little bit that we've added. So a bit more. Again, I do this just to keep it away from splashing all over me. It's always a good idea to wear an apron doing this which I didn't do today, but now, can you see that is getting quite stringy now? So we're gonna give it a good fast beat. So the faster you stir it, the quicker it's going to activate. So. And you get to the stage where you think this is ever going to turn into slime. I promise you, if you use all these ingredients, it will. You just need to keep adding a wee bit at a time. When it starts to get stringy, only add little bits because you can get to the stage where all of a sudden it gets really runny. So just add wee bits at a time. Now, you'll notice that I'm really struggling to stir it now. It's starting to get really thick and it's starting to come away from the size of the pumpkin. You see? So we're nearly there. Nearly there. Now, if I was to pop my finger in now, it's still sticking to my finger, so it's not ready yet. Okay? Um, we want it to be at the stage. We can just dab your finger in and there's nothing there. Okay, so it's not quite ready. So this is where you need to have your Weetabix in the morning and be able to use all your strength just to stir it. It gets harder and harder to stir at the end. So sometimes you might need a couple of you to stir it because it gets really, really tough. So a wee bit more. It seems like you're adding loads of activator, but you're not really. You're probably really only adding about two, three teaspoons. So you can see now where it's actually starting to come away really nicely. Whoa, almost there. So it's nearly at the stage where we can knead it like a wee bit of pizza dough. Oh, almost there, almost there. I think we just need a few more splashes and that's us nearly done. I can hardly start now. It's getting so tough. I think the cameraman needs to watch out because if he's not careful, this is going to end up all over him. Now, we are almost there. Let's see if we can get it all out. Oh, there we are. But it's still a wee bit sticky. So what we need to do now is just add a wee bit more. Just put this down here. And when you start to see it getting shiny and it's just sliding off your spoon, you know that that's it almost done. So I think it's nearly good to go. So let's try this out and see. So don't forget, tip your finger in. It's not staying on my finger. So that's a good sign. So this is when you need to roll up your sleeves. And this is when the cameraman probably needs to stand back, just in case, just in case. So there we go. So I'm just going to roll it around here. I can feel it's just a wee bit sticky on my fingers. So what I sometimes do is take a wee bit of contact lens solution and just put it in my hands like that. And it helps to get it off your hands. So, so you just roll it around the bowl a bit like if you're making pastry and then it gets all the bits off the side. So, there we are. There is our slime. 
Let's see how stretchy it is. It's quite fluffy, isn't it? So I'm going to just add a wee bit more activator. You can see it's just still a wee bit sticky. So let's just add a wee bit more. Add it to the top. And that actually makes it quite slippery and slidey now. That's very easy to work with now. So there we go. There is our pumpkin slime. So I think I'm just going to add a few more bits and pieces to it. So let's just add a wee bit more glitter. Um, sometimes what we do is we just add a wee bit in the centre. You know those rainbow cakes where you cut into them and there's M&Ms in the middle? I do that with slime where we just hide the glitter in the middle and then all of a sudden once you've kneaded it like pizza dough, all of a sudden you find the glitter, it just comes out a wee bit like that. So it's a wee bit of a surprise. Nobody knows it's there apart from me. So I just keep adding a wee bit more until it's covered with glitter on the outside. So I'm going to do that. getting quite tough now so it's definitely got enough activator so you can see all the lovely sparkly bits through it so all we have left to do now is maybe add a few spiders so pop a few spiders in there and oh I'm a good little little tiny ant as well pop them in for good measure so we'll hide the ants and the spider as well, so that if you give this to your wee brother or your wee sister to play with, and they think it's just lovely sparkly slime, and all of a sudden they find a little wee spider inside. So, so it's quite a good game. Hunt the spiders, see how many spiders you can find in your slime. So there we go. There is easy peasy slime, uh, full of spiders and full of pumpkins and full of glitter. So there we are. Easy peasy. So that is just Jemima's foolproof slime recipe, which is PVA glue by Carbo Soda. About two teaspoons for a half bottle of this. About three or four squirts of shaving foam. Activator whatever colour you want. And remember to use the gel, not the liquid. Add as much glitter and sparkles and glitter and spiders as you want. So have fun making slime. If you make lots of slime, don't forget to post it maybe on social media. Send me a picture of it so we can see your lovely autumn spider slime. Overnight from Just Jemima.